Welcome to Barbecue Pit Boys.com. Today we're cooking up a pepperoni pizza at the pit, and it's easy to do. All right, this is a real old traditional pizza. This is not the fast food pizza that you see being sold everywhere, right? They try to tell us it's pizza, but it's not. We know better. All right, so. This is how we get started. Here we've got some pizza dough, right? Now, we've jumped ahead. We're not going to show you how to make it. It's just basically flour and water, right? You can uh, go elsewhere to learn how to make your pizza dough. Or in many cases, you can actually buy pizza dough ready for your oven. You just, uh, some of your local grocers will have it, which just makes it all the easier. Now, this is how we got it. Now it's time to roll it out. It's time to stretch it out. Let it loosen up a little bit. And at first it doesn't seem like it wants to loosen up, but you just keep working away at it, right? It'll stretch, it'll loosen, it'll relax. Oh, you need to do this step to get a real pizza dough. All right, so we've jumped ahead a little bit, continue to roll it. It's just about ready for the pizza pan. Now, we're going to hit the pan, and this is a uh, rectangular pan. This is a real pizza pan, and uh, it's, uh, it's got a textured bottom, which allows the, uh, the dough to release, right, during the cook. So uh, we're going to hit it with some olive oil first, and now we're going to hit it with some cornmeal. And this will help, again, release the pizza when it's done from the oven, right? So you sprinkle that on a little bit. And of course, a lot of you know that's one of the tricks, right? A little bit of cornmeal. Also adds a little crunch to the bottom of that pizza dough, right? So now, this is more of the stretching, right? Just keep working at it. You want to shape it to the pan. Now, if you're using a round pan, of course, you do it that way, right? You shape it around. But here, you just keep moving it, and you can see it relax and stretch. Again, this will produce an outrageous, authentic pizza dough, an awesome pizza crust. It's very different than uh, the mass uh, food pizza, right? Now, we'll just jump ahead a little bit. We've got it nice and stretched. And now we're going to season it a little bit right so we're going to use our spg use a little maybe salt and pepper or what you got just season it up now here is a tomato sauce and we're using a jarred tomato sauce right there's nothing wrong with it there's a lot of great jar pizza sauces or tomato sauces out there if you look around and uh, this one here is like a marinara style very light that's the way you want to make that authentic pizza. We're going to be adding plenty of flavor to this. We don't need a uh, over-flavored sauce, if you know what I'm saying, right? Now, this is what the pepperoni pizza is all about. It's the pepperoni. Don't scrimp. Get the best you can buy. It's, again, about the pepperoni. You don't want the pre-sliced pepperoni you get in a package or something. That's not the real thing, right? So search and find a authentic pepperoni. Now, here we've got a couple of cheeses we're going to blend together. And we've got some mozzarella, and we've actually got some sharp cheddar as well. Now, you're going to hear some of these uh, pizza snobs saying, what? You can't use cheddar cheese. You can use what you want, your favorite cheese. Cheddar adds an additional flavor to this. So you set this up the way you want. So now we're going to spread it all over this, right? And um, oh, just take your time, right? Again, the cheese, the pepperoni, an awesome crust. Oh, this here is pit pizza. Until you've had your own pit pizza done on a wood-fired oven, you don't know what pizza is about. Now, we have a little garlic powder here, just a little bit hitting it, and that's pit master privilege. And here we've got some red pepper flake. Uh, put as much or as little as you want, right? Adds a little background heat. Now, we're going to take this uh, pepperoni, 
And this is the real deal, right? You make some thin slices, just about like that. Perfect. Oh, and put as much as you want on. So uh, here's Slasher. We're just going to line them up, make it look real pretty. Whoo, man. I'll tell you what. There's nothing like a good pepperoni pizza at the pit, like I was saying. All right, now, we're going to make this a fancy-ass pizza. This is optional. We're going to put on some of the green stuff. How about some whole leaf basil and some fresh whole leaf oregano? Real Italian flavoring. All right? Now we're going to take some extra virgin olive oil and we're going to go around the perimeter of the crust. You can see it's slightly raised there. And uh, this is a trick, right, to, um, to get that dough nice and crusty around the edge. It's got that crunchy bite, you know what I'm saying. So use a little bit of olive oil around the perimeter. And here we've got some grated Parmesan cheese. I'm going to sprinkle some of that on. And some more um, olive oil. Oh, man. Are you getting hungry or what? Now, to the oven. And here's our Sunterra oven. It's a wood-fired oven. And uh, we've got a temperature of about 600 degrees, maybe 650. That's an important part of doing a great pizza is a high-temp, wood-fired, if you got it, oven. All right, so we're about maybe 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes in this. We're going to take a look. Coming along nice. We just turn it to do some even cooking. You may or may not have to do that in your oven, all right? Now, you could do this on a regular kettle, indirect, opposite hot coals, but uh, we won't go into that right now. And in the miracle of time, this pepperoni pizza is done ho, 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 ho. time to pull it out of the oven slice it up take a look at that oh guarantee high temperature pizza this is how you want to do it the crust is perfect and just do your slice in here we've got our 14 inch butcher Use a piece of slicer if you got one, whatever. Lord have mercy. Now, before a clueless keyboard food cop chimes in here and says, Oh, they look burnt. No, this is exactly the way you want it. Like a good oven-fired pizza you'll find in the great pizza houses anywhere in the U.S., right? The pepperoni literally melts atop of that pizza. Whoa. So this is the part where the pit masters are eating in front of you and we're not apologizing. <laughs> so head on over to our website to get the exact ingredients and we appreciate your support as always. So the next time you're looking for a recipe for your pit, check out barbecuepitboys.com. Good.